Hey everyone, this is a tutorial for how to bridge Happy Father's Day. I have clicked on the text box on the left, come up to the top under fonts and chose a font that I wanted to use and then typed in Happy Father's Day. So now I want to, I'm not going to mess with the alignment or anything else because I'm going to move it around later anyway. Over in the layers panel, you can see that this text is all grouped. So the first thing you need to do in order to be able to bridge this is ungroup all the fonts so that each layer is its own individual letter. And then I'm going to go over to the left, bring in a shape. We'll use a square and I'll change that another color just so that it is not the same color as the font. Actually, I'm going to change the color of the font. You can do it either way, but for this one, I'm going to play with it a little differently than how I usually do and go backwards. So I'm going to bring this down to a size that is closer to the Happy Father's Day. I'm going to make that nice and big. Let's see. There we go. Bring that nice and big, move it over here. Okay, using your little rectangle that you made, gonna drag it over and I like the size of that. I'm just gonna kind of take a peek at it with all of these letters and yes, I like the looks of that. So then I, what I'm gonna do is duplicate that several times. I'm gonna lock that so it stays in proportion. Duplicate that several times so that they're all the same and then simply drag it over the top of your letter. Use the top right corner there to change the angle of this one. And then position it close to the side there. I'm gonna go ahead and position them all. I want this, oh, I'm gonna unlock that so I can make these longer. The height on this one I'm gonna make longer so that I can do the top and the bottom of the P's at the same time. Butt that right up against the side. And when you have letters that repeat several times, if you want to, you can only do one P, only do one A, or you can position them for every single one of those. You can, uh, as long as you have one bridge on this E, you're good. Um, you can go straight through the top. You can butt right up here, but because the top of that E is curved, that's a little bit more tricky position. Just comes down to what you like. So you can place that wherever you want. And over here in the R, let's see, I'm gonna use this long one. So I'm gonna grab the long one and duplicate that. Use this one for the R. Probably, oops, probably use that for the D also. And that needs to be even just a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna move that one. Again, this is just preference of looks. As long as you have your bridges there, it doesn't kind of matter where they're placed, but I'll do the other one over here. Now for D, I need to duplicate this long one. Bring that down on top of the D. And I'm going to make that even longer, so I'm going to unlock it so it stays the same thinness that it is, but I'm going to make it taller. And bring that over to the edge. And then I'm not going to mess with the other two A's, and I'll show you why. This is kind of a little cheat. Um, let's, I'm going to hide this left one just so that I differentiate it in the layers panel. I can see it's the one with the line through the eyeball so I don't choose that one. I'm gonna draw a square around that and slice. And I'm not gonna mess with perfecting the position on those. You'll see what I mean if one of them's off. Slice, draw a box around that, slice. Now this one, I'm gonna just come skinny on the side so that I don't accidentally grab the other Let's make sure we only have two things chosen in the layers panel. Slice is lit up, so we're good there. Now I need to grab the other one. Slice. And we'll do the day the same way, the D. Slice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here and I'm going to hold my shift key down and just get rid of all of these extra pieces. 
that I'll clean up the layers panel so I can go through and find things more quickly and easily. Get rid of all of these pieces. Oh, see, there's the one with the eyeball marked out. So that's the one I didn't want to get rid of. There we go, good to go. Now I'm gonna delete all of those. And you can see each of those letters is bridged. So now I'm going to change these two, actually I'll just change this one and make it easy. So it's one. I'm gonna change that to black. And I'm going to change this P, this P to black. Because now what I'm gonna do is duplicate this A two times and I'm going to lay it right over the top of this A. And I'm going to do the same with this one down here, because there's no reason to have to bridge the A three times. And this P I'm going to duplicate and lay right over the top of this P. Now I'm going to zoom in quickly and show you what I was talking about, how I didn't mess with the positioning too hard. You can see right here that I notched this. So really I should have moved it over a tiny bit to the right, but for the purposes of the video and to keep it rolling, I'm not going to mess with perfecting the position on those. You'll want to look at, look at those each time you bridge one. Go back down, go back over here. So now I'm going to go through the layers panel and I'm going to get rid of the yellow A's and the yellow P. So I'm looking for the yellow A's. There should be two yellow A's and one yellow P. Delete. So now all of these letters are bridged for Happy Father's Day. Then you'll want to move your spacing to wherever you like that because I wouldn't want to leave them out as big as they were for several reasons. One is looks wise, but then also, you know, if you're trying to cut this down to say a two inch stencil for your cookie, you don't want to have your letters be super spread out. So I'll move these over. Again, I'm not gonna too much mess with perfecting these just to keep it rolling. You can play with it to your liking And the little apostrophe's got to go over. And the S, so we just have a couple more. Then we're going to uh, attach these words together individually. Okay, so let's just say I liked the spacing of all of that. I'm going to put a box around day. And at the bottom of the layers panel, I'm going to weld that word. I'm going to do the same for fathers, weld and happy weld. Now you can draw your box around all three of those words and up here at the align at the top, I'm going to choose center those horizontally. And then now I'm gonna use my arrow keys and just move fathers up, move day up. And then if I want to space those out evenly, again, draw your box around those, come up to align and I'm gonna distribute them vertically. It's gonna make them evenly spaced out. And then now at this point, you could either attach them or if you wanted to weld them together as one piece, because really you're not gonna use them separately. So you can go ahead and weld them. And then now this is one piece. Size this accordingly for your cookie. So say I have a three inch cookie, I'm gonna make that two and a half and see where that takes us. I can make that two, let's go 2.7, 2.75. So say I'm gonna put that on a three inch cookie, that'd be a good size. Depends on what you're doing with the rest of your design. Now I'm gonna bring in a square and make that my five and a half inches for my plastic stencil. I'm gonna bring this to the front just so I can see it. Draw a box around that, align and center and attach. So this is ready to cut out for a plastic stencil. If you have any questions, place them in the comments. Have a great day.